What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at something really important, but something pretty tricky. So hopefully you've got your maths brains on. Let's have a look at the commutative property. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, this is a horrible word, isn't it? Commutative. What does it mean? Well, to commute means to move. So commutative property means that things can move around. Let's have a look what that looks like. So let's have a look at this first example. Question one says 24 plus 6 equals 30. Okay, I agree. That is correct. The commutative property means that we can move these two first digits around, the numbers in my question, and we will get the same answer. So let's see if that works. 24 plus 6 equals 30. Is that the same as saying 6 plus 24? Well, 6 plus 24 also equals 30. Therefore, this question was commutative. Okay, let's have a look at this next question, which says 4 times 5 equals 20. Let's see if we can move these two digits around and get the same answer. So I'd have 5 times 4 equals, well, 5 times 4 also equals 20. So again, this question is commutative. Now bear with me because we're going to find a pattern in a minute. Let's have a look at question 3. Question 3 says 15 subtract 5 equals 10. Well, let's see if we can move these two digits around then and get the same answer. So now I have 5 subtract 15. Uh-oh! What's happened here? If I have 5, let's put our 5 fingers in the air, and I try to subtract 15, I definitely do not get 10. I would actually get negative 10. So that is not commutative. That's interesting, isn't it? So I had one question here, the addition question. That was commutative. I had another question here, the multiplication. That was commutative. But then I got to my third question, the subtraction, and it was not commutative. Let's have a look at the last question. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. Let's move these two around. And I have 2 divided by 20. Well, if I put two fingers in the air, I cannot share them between 20 friends. And this is actually a really tricky answer. I'm going to put a question mark. I don't even know what that equals. That's mega maths. So this, again, is not commutative. So what have we learned? Well, we've learned that if a question is addition or multiplication, those are commutative. But if the question is subtraction or division, they are not commutative. Let's check that again with another example then. So let's say in our addition column over here, let's say I have 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Let's switch them around. 2 plus 5 also equals 7. Good. Confirmed. Addition definitely works. Let's do a multiplication. 3 times 5 equals 15. Switch them around. 5 times 3 also equals 15. Awesome. So we can confirm addition and multiplication are definitely always commutative. Let's check subtraction. Let's do 3 subtract 1 equals 2. And then 1 subtract 3, uh-oh, equals negative 2. Not the same, not commutative. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 5 divided by 10 does not equal 2. Not commutative. So what have we learned? What do we have to remember? Commutative means that the numbers can be moved around and still get the same answer. So if it's commutative, we can move them around. Addition and multiplication questions are commutative. Subtraction and division are not. But why is this important? Well, it gets really important when we start to use our written methods. So watch out for these little rules. And remember that when we see a question that's subtraction, we must do it in the right order. Whereas if we see an addition question, we can move the order of the question round. Really important law, 
hopefully we can remember it. And there we go, that is the commutative property. Hopefully this was useful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel or sharing this with a friend that you think would benefit from this too. But for now guys, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.